up a crash in our audio system, but we're back to bringing you the premium sound quality now. So, uh, it's fixed yet again, now. yeah, yet again, uh, welcome to the average reroll where we're going to talk with you and to you all about Us. our main show. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh away from the mics, please. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> during this show, which will actually premiere on usually on Mondays uh, from 7 p.m. GMP plus two, yada, yada, yada. We're going to talk to you and with you all about our main campaign, all Us. about how our players are doing, all about how the story is progressing and... How you boys are feeling about it? Why are we retarded, basically? <laughs> yeah, right. The reasoning be behind. But uh, I think before we start talking about how retarded we all are, um, how about a small recap of our first episode? Well, we did the oopsie. <laughs> so, yeah, you did the oopsie. The oopsies, uh, <laughs> both individually and as a nice merry party, right? Well, as a merry party, why? I mean, I mean, we donated, he donated to the church, so we donated to the church because I'm it's a party. I'm talking about the first episode. Oh, first episode? You know, when y'all tried to rob each other, hi. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got mugged. Not by him, but... Well, I'm sure that's a coincidence. I think I was doing fairly fine, actually. But I didn't that's get the you were the, the only one. one. Yeah. <laughs> you were, were the only one doing fine. I guess evil pays off sometimes. <laughs> No spoilers, <laughs> no spoilers. But um, yeah, she's so, evil, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> During our first episode, the tides of Rick and Bay, uh, the party met up at the quay and immediately started having uh, let's call it ideological debates. No, fun time. Fun times. Uh, yes. Best times. But uh, please, I, I think the spotlights here uh, could talk a bit more about it, right? What while uh, you appreciated my fine clothing? Yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, it was fine, so. Or are you one of those nobles? I'm one of every noble. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just, you know, killing other nobles in, in broad daylight is what we do. Again, but that's at the night. second episode. Yeah. In broad daylight, but at night, right? No, I mean at night. Killings are supposed to be done at night. Uh, well, but that would be cliche, right? Yeah, not really. And uh, during the last episode of the average chat, we did talk about avoiding cliches, so just kill PCs in broad daylight. <laughs> it's more fun that way. But yeah, well, and troublesome, I guess. Well, uh, that that that's gonna be kind of hard with me there because. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Distractions are a thing. Oh, just just make her, you know. P please sing to the crowd. Yeah. Here, I'll even give you a venue. Yeah, just stay with your back uh, towards us. Zesh? I don't think Zesh would have anything. Well, you know, Zesh would just want to you know, it's, it's, Okay, uh, but only tiny creatures. Yeah, it's, a, it's all good that Zesh is not with us tonight. Everyone can eat tiny creatures if the creatures are, you know, chopped, they are my companion. chopped enough. I mean, one really, of them is my the, companion. the worst part of eating the tiny creature is the is the chainmail, right? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, well... We could consider it a can. But look at him, I think he eats metal. No, not really, but he can open them, you know, like one of those cans. Of, you know. Oh, look, a knight. Ding. <laughs> knight soup. God, they're horrible. <laughs> no, they're true to life. Yeah. Okay, come on, we, we, we don't hate gnomes. A bit. Wow. They, yeah, they just like a bit. gnomes just a bit too much, right? No. <laughs> come on, my... Then again, he's not here today, so yeah. Well, that's why we make fun of him. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, how about we take this one by one, right? Um, we wanted everyone's, you know, feedback and honest opinion. And how do you feel about your characters? Maybe a word or two about how how you came to be these specific adventurers. But all about the first episode, not the second. Of course. The second will be covered Monday. Barring that, I think we've got enough uh, hijinks during the first episode to kind of get a baseline and a feeling about how you guys are, a bit about how you act. Of course, spoilers notwithstanding, and maybe you guys would like to withhold some details so that we still have content for Monday. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, all the action is gonna stop at the, at the bar fight, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fair enough. Yeah. So... Up until the bar fight, though, 
you did have quite the number Does of distractions. Does it have to be a fight? Can't we like sugarcoat it? It's a bar it? conversation, right? Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. it's, a, it, it's a slightly more <laughs> violent bar conversation. Why no, no, no. It's, you are talking with your fists. Strong words were used. Yeah, strong <laughs> words. I believe in the more um, civilized realms of adventure, this is called a percussive debate. <laughs> of course. <laughs> sure. Right. But, um... An if, Irish bar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so chat's already alive. Hi, chat. Missed us during our audio... Uh, well, no, miming contest. <laughs> well, we do have uh, the best sound quality. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Right before the break. Okay. okay fine. But, uh, right. So before we start properly, since last time we hit quite the milestone, Hey, our only Patreon subscriber. <laughs> we <Hello>. love you. <laughs> You're Thank the you. best. So, uh, what was his name? <laughs> well, it's not with the usual Romanian diacritics, but uh, hey, Kwama, <laughs> our only prestige subscriber. Thank you very much for making a small part of our endeavor possible. And we're going to write you up on the... Space of imagination. <laughs> it's not awkward at all. Oh. Oh. A. A. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Good luck with that one, bro. Uh, <laughs> and hey. No one sees it. No one? Nope. No one sees it? You wrote oh. too high. Oh, fuck oh. <laughs> No, the, the whiteboard's too white. <laughs> well, then I can do this, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> they don't even see that one, I think. I love it! <laughs> we Actually, we can draw penis. And, and, and all the mistakes. Yeah, Actually, you can see it. You can see it? You can see it. Okay, no penis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. But so, look, look, we love you. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's a heart. Mm -hmm. That's obviously. Not another uh, fleur de lis. No, 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 it's a heart. Right. So, yeah, again, thank you to our only prestige level subscriber, which is also our only subscriber, for Wait, making for a more. smart, small part of this possible. But, um. And I think uh, the part that convinced him was the fanny. Was it? Aww. We've got another one today. We'll, we'll show it to you after the break. <laughs> it's even way shittier. <laughs> more down to earth. More down to earth. <laughs> but, um. Going to other data earth perspectives, I think uh, as a native of Rickham Bay and really the person who was reactively hit with all of the unexpected turns of uh, meeting a lot of new people last time. Uh, please, Halil, tell us a bit about Swifty. <laughs> well, except the fact that he tried, he saw a possibly easy mark and then everything went downhill fast. Oh, but that's, uh, that's what Swifty does. I mean, who is Swifty? Really? But, but how is Swifty? <laughs> no one asks how is Swifty, we'll get to that after the break. But really, a word or two about Swifty so that maybe the people who didn't... Uh... Okay. Uh, he's a rogue that used to be a pickpocket and still tries to be a pickpocket in his <laughs> leisure time. It's just his day job now, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright. And he basically grew up in Rickham Bay. Right, uh, that's kind of about it. He met these uh, motley bunch. <laughs> I'm, I love that uh, that you people really avoid using motley crew. <laughs> yes, it's on the tip of your tongue. Yes, <laughs> right. And uh, what was your first impression of uh, the rest of, of the people? Oh my lord, how did I get <laughs> <out of> this <laughs> intact? A special bunch. Uh, well, no. Well, uh, all at, fr at first he was like, hmm. Maybe I can get a few drinks out of this. So about half of the Mirthog and Gloria, right? Yeah. Okay. About ha a half a session into this, oh my lord, how can I ditch this? <laughs> so uh, your plans kind of went bye bye. And after at the end of the session, this is somewhat strangely fun. Strangely fun. Yeah. Well, come on. If you make fun of us, we also we have the the trump card on you. Really? They do? Yeah. Your mother's a whore. <laughs> we don't know that yet. Yeah, we well, yeah. Well, we were we'll gonna see. get to that in about like, what twenty minutes. But yeah, we jumped straight into that. So tell us a bit about your background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so uh, Swifty was born to a whore. And he was raised in a brothel. Early to a woman of the oldest profession. <laughs> right? Make it, uh, ma make it PG. We can say fuck. My okay. I'm, <laughs> go I'm going to... To a working girl. There you go. And um, he w was raised in the, well, the brothel. Mm-hmm. And the red light district, and he got to basically see what life was for the less than richer people. And he's a he's a half elf. Yeah. Right. So, how do you think the the perspective of of being a, a half elf maybe changed his, uh, or rather determined his outlook on growing up in such a unusual environment? Well, he, uh, the, uh, about early in his life, he realized, right, so mom's gonna outlive me by... <laughs> it's not even funny. Uh, it isn't. It really isn't. Yeah. Um, how about that? Uh, that? How Is he coping with that, maybe? How did he learn to cope with that, if he ever did? He, it's, it's a big it's, turning point. It's quite literally. Right, so... I'm gonna die. Huh. Mom's still gonna be there, huh? She will, she'll probably get half of a gray hair, maybe. If I pull through this, enough. Uh, this, this took a twist and turned in there. Now, how, uh, how's the weather? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. But uh, I mean, in spite of that, uh, I think everyone at the table saw Swifty, and even on stream, saw Swifty as the reasonable, the reasonable odd man out, and maybe the cheerier part of the bunch. Somewhat. Because you, you never leaned into the desperation or the, you know, more, um... Define cheerier. Well, I mean, he dealt with all of your issues head on and was not outwardly overwhelmed by them. He did quite a good job. Yeah, Appearance-wise, at least. I don't think cheerful is the proper word, but you you know that you know that kind successfully of... coping. You know you How know about that, that you know that kind of a ten mile stare that you get. Yeah, that's proper. Yeah, that's how Swifty copes with it. I mean, he already learned at a very young age that he's his mother will outlive him by a ridiculous amount, probably outlive his grandkids. So oh, so Swifty thinking of uh, eventually having a family. No, How about that. Swifty, Swifty really, really doesn't care about that. Come on, you don't want a mini Swifty? A Swift eye. If he actually a succeeds, swiftier. A if swiftier. he actually succeeds in his retirement fund, maybe. But you could put him to good use. I mean, if he's cute and adorable, you can make him like distract people, and then you can pickpocket See, them more. See, uh, that's he the can, whole point. He can gnaw on their ankles. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. So see. There's a good opinion right there, right there. Swifty has to deal with that somewhere around right there. there. <laughs> really tangent to around there, but um, so first impressions nonetheless. So you say half of the party was uh well, half of the remainder of the party was uh, promising, maybe reasonable, profitable at at first. Mm -hmm. What made you change your mind? Because even though they're oh, outlying you, individuals and, and you know the unique noble who had some honor started cudgeling an old drunkard <laughs> to death. Um, to be honest, it, it surprises me. Um, mm. then what, that uh, he didn't die? no, that then, uh, he appeared there. Oh, I was scared. Okay. Then the bard. <laughs> old people. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and then the bard starting, started <laughs> having an argument with a tiefling that degenerated into. Oh boy. Uh, so her, Swifty hers was surprised hers. by by this more uh, horrible slice of life. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Oh, he sees that like three times a day. It's fine. I mean, slums and red light district. I wouldn't call them quite slums. Well, well the red light like district. Slumsies. No. Slumsies. Uh, a more cleaner The version. fun poor people. Slumsy-ish. Slumsy-ish. The fun poor people? The fun poor people. The, uh, you know, Disney poor people. She, she seems shady all around. You know, like she Aladdin. Does, really? 
I mean, she gives the same vibe as the noble in Swifty's opinion, so How shady. How dare you? How dare you? I have stayed away from violence up until now. <laughs> Come on, you are and even more asshole than me. Campaign Come changes. on. Like, be honest. Be honest. I mean, I'm just edgy. I don't think I'm an I'm a, Maybe a little bit of an asshole. See? But... See, we're going, we're going somewhere. Well, she was nice. With exactly, me. I gave her my tunic. Of course, your girls and shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. So the fact that they share rags is just, you know. Yeah, girly girl stuff. stuff yeah. Yeah. Well, you should just prance around. Maybe someone throws a gold at you. To get racer. some clothing! Yes! <laughs> Don't make me pull this knife out of this hole. <laughs> right. And other than that, because his reactions were mostly understated, maybe driven by momentary exasperation. <laughs> momentary exasperation. <laughs> At one point they were, I mean, right uh, before your fight. Well, of course they were. <laughs> and uh, and at the customs house too. No, at the customs house. Well, the, the customs um, house was pretty nice. I mean, yeah. I was the third person to know how to write. Fascinating. No, she was the third, the day, you were the second. The, the second, the second uh, yeah. The second and person. The yeah. mm -hmm. huh. Who's the third then? She, she no. was... No. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Anyhow. Right. So, uh... What do you think about that? The more uh, realistic side of how things should have gone, how things did go... Things went okay, all things considered. <laughs> it's 50's opinion. Things went okay, all things considered. This is no, fine. Nobody died. <laughs> Just yet. Just yet. Nobody got... Well... Completely robbed of all their belongings. I got Z I got the coin left. <laughs> yeah. One coin. The coiny. The coiny. Yeah. But you're and you're uh, fastly gaining more trinkets, so that's good. You're and right now you have um you know, like a couple of more items and she'll yeah. have all of the disadvantage to stealth, yay. <laughs> Actually The clickety clacks. Yeah. I mean you know three uh, pearl necklaces and all of your salt goes bye bye <laughs> that's just reasonable no, 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 come on just buy about 40 daggers no, <laughs> we're not having this discussion again i only have six right so i can give you two if you want getting there we're, uh, we're turning this into how many daggers can fit on and in swifty well in swifty <laughs> well it's Swifty Within a lot the definition of swifty <laughs> Right? This backpack has many holes. Ed boy. Mostly self-inflicted, huh? Uh, but sure. uh, yeah, you you did mention that uh, at one point that Swifty wanted to be the man the man of many knives. Yeah, and he has are enough still, knives. Uh, are, are you he still has he has he has enough knives. Is there such a thing as enough knives? Yes, there actually is. Well, the that... moment they become an issue about where to put them. You have way too many knives. Or not enough, uh, you know, space, imagination. No, no, no. <laughs> they, they, they die in real life. When a character dies in D and D, it's a question. They die in real life as well. Hmm? It's a question from from so, the chat. So, uh, what, what is the question from the what chat? What happens when someone dies at D and D? They die well, in real life. It's, it's real easy, right? Have you ever seen The Matrix? Yeah, of course. That's yeah. how it works. If it weren't for our characters in D and D and uh, my DM screen, like I have no lungs when I DM. But, uh, no, I mean, sorry, if they were to die on stream, right, so, sorry, uh, you have battery about, about, <laughs> okay, sure. I have about, battery. about that, right. No, Swifty is not Max. What? No, what? Swifty equals Max? No. No. Come where on. did this, uh, even come from? Also, please read out the question. Swifty equals Max? No, that's the question. One and a half internet? One and a half internet. You can't resurrect lie in a MMORPG. Well, you can get resurrected. Well, even yeah, if right. you have the. So, well, let's take it this back a step, right? Mm, from Swifty's perspective on mortality, which is uh, quite a. Uh, People die. Grim. <laughs> People die. And. Um, limited? Well, yeah, you can resurrect, but it will leave a mark on that you too. and that you can't too. resurrect exactly like in a game 
it's costly you know, within this game. <laughs> yeah it's costly it's time consuming it's psychic consuming yeah don't come not back only that away. you have to find someone who's able to resurrect you. Da, da. of course these condition un- conditions nonetheless and limitations nonetheless but uh it's an interesting side question like what would you people do if your characters did bite the dust i'm gonna kill ourselves oh okay <laughs> So uh, I'm supposed to keep you alive and uh, and alive. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No pressure. No well, pressure. When like one of your characters dies, I felt that recently. <laughs> About them Sunday games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That night I was like almost crying all the time, and I felt like shit because I had so many plans and I didn't know what to do with them. So... I still hate you for that. <laughs> oh. Was it sadness or frustration? It's sadness. It's not. It's not frustration because that happened because of you. Maybe like she was more unluckier than me because. Well, to be honest, you guys did stay in a blob and fight the boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, I, I can't wait for our first actual fight on the streams so and yeah, yeah, also so, criticize your tactics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so people can say we play like shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're just. Really no, you just sad. play like level one characters who don't know what they're doing. You're just really sad, but then you think about all of the course. amazing moments what? and all the amazing stuff you did with that character and um, the thinking process behind it, and you just find the new character that you love and you. Put all your mind into it. So, like in real life, when your dog dies, right? You're sad. You bury the thing, and then you buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, God, I'm try- <laughs> well, the e- then the DM might be per- uh, prosecuted for killing a character if the character owner kills himself. Of course, it's the DM's fault. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But if I close my eyes, you people don't exist. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you are in a coma. Wake up. It's all just a simulation, so of it's course. fine. Yeah. As we said, the Matrix. Yeah. But, uh, mo- okay, so moving on from the Matrix. <laughs> and the uh, characters dying unexpectedly or completely planned. Um, Please don't kill us off so soon. That's not my job, that's yours. Please draw six cards again. <laughs> I almost died in the first episode, so... <laughs> uh, so, moving on from the everyman's perspective, let's uh, talk a bit about the perspective of the... The everyman who dreams beyond himself, or herself in this case, right? Uh, what was the idea behind Gloria and her um, her wishes for, for grandeur? Gorga. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. We'll steal other people's memes in just a sec. Of course. Yeah. Right. Well, Please. the thing is, I wanted to play a bard. Like, I, I wanted to play it. And I thought, this is the perfect way to do it to start doing it yes in front of the internet and the scrutamental eyes of our public yes it's so much fun <laughs> you don't even i love that we have no self-awareness by the way which is <laughs> neck deep into this who cares well it's the weirdest party composition ever but still <laughs> i was gonna save that for a bit later but yeah oh my god you people should not function <laughs> whatsoever I'm surprised that you haven't surprised knifed each other. Well, we are slowly yeah. developing developing feelings. Slowly, my ass. I have feelings, you know? Well, you. Sociopaths. Yeah. The only one. <laughs> yeah. You absolute well, cut out I, I did something. Okay, go on. I moved Zesh with my song. Ah, but that was the second session and we're not going to talk about that. Oh, now. shit. I'm sorry. Never mind. They can say shit too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted Thanks to play. Thanks for our only Patreon donator who enabled us to <laughs> fucking swear. <laughs> okay. No well, more YouTube to... revenue, sorry. <laughs> so you just boop. The fourth you know, just... time. Uh. Right. Go ahead. I wanted to. So uh... as I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Please. No, nothing. Come on, go. So, uh, Shot, please tell us all about Gloria. <laughs> Why did you make Gloria? How I do you made... feel about Gloria? <laughs> well, she. What cle- prompted you to create her? <laughs> <laughs> what go, on, the... go on, go on, come on. I Yana, hate go them. On. Go on, Yana. So. Yeah. 
<laughs> I just wanted to play a bard and not the cliche kind of bard. Like, I'm not searching for fame and money <laughs> and being stuff to fuck. I actually can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I give up. I give up. No. Nah, fuck it. Please don't. No. No, I'm not gonna. No. So, you didn't start out searching for fame and money. Right. But uh, something obviously happened because uh, we could all see, and you could all, uh, I suppose, perceive that Gloria has something to prove. Right? Either to herself or to other people. During the first session, especially. We saw quite a couple of moments where Gloria was um, erratic, very intensely emotional, due to many reasons, right? And you went through quite a roller coaster, let's call it. Where was that? And where'd that come from? Well, because I mean, some people, uh, most people uh, on the stream don't know about the events of Gloria's past and I don't know if you want to spoiler alert say something about that or if not we can all find out during the campaign well spoiler I know <laughs> <laughs> well the thing is she is kind of searching for fame but it's not like um, fame for this life she wants to do something that will help the history that will be a part of the history she wants to make a book with maps and um, uh, poetry and culture pieces from different places but not necessarily to prove you know, to, to improve herself world but more to hmm, how to say it to impress the person who inspired her to be a bard. Hmm. And do you think um, that's um, achievable? Do you think that's um, well as a as a character? Sure. I mean, Gloria's perspective is only tied to herself and the events that have shaped her so far. But how easy or hard do you think that might be as uh, you know the campaign progresses? And what do you want to strive to do to achieve that? Because, sure, there's many bookmakers and map makers. There's, um, there's a lot of people who are vying for attention in such a chaotic environment. Right? <laughs> yeah. And in such a reactive environment. How do you want to <laughs> leave your mark? Slowly, but surely. Well, the thing is, I haven't really... say um, she wants to mark every single important thing that happens that happened in her life with a song or a few words or every single person she met that she considered interesting or worth to be remembered she did that until now you never heard her singing no no, we all haven't. And, and that's something that I actually thought before. Okay. Because she doesn't really sing her pieces, like the things she makes. Oh god, it's modern poetry. No, no, no. She, like, <laughs> like what? Christ almighty. She okay. only um, used her voice for two people. Okay. The bard who taught her how to sing mm -hmm. and the tiefling boy from her past and spoiler alert yeah <laughs> basically there you go it, it's, it's okay it, like it's from the backstory fair enough and she did tell us about yeah, yeah the fact yeah, that she hates tieflings and the tiefling and that coin like really yeah. <laughs> and I, I i look like him no, no that's you look the, like bard. the bard. You look ah, like the bard. The bard, the bard okay. You look like the bard. You don't look you know, like Satan. You have, Come you on, a, I do. You, a, you, know, you act you like him. You have ears and fair skin, right? All elves look alike. <laughs> of course. No, he... Like actually, from a mold. How he described him, 
he described the part I was thinking somehow. I don't know how. Yeah. Like I, I wrote my my backstory before he did. You know, like every bar, they're like a little shit. <laughs> Oh, but, but I don't, uh, don't disagree on this one because um, because Murthog uh, was um, was an idea that was uh, cooking in your head, uh, short for quite a while, uh, right? For about three years. So it just yeah. I don't know. Well, by looks, yeah, maybe. Yeah, by, that, by that's looks, exactly what I oh said. No. You yeah. look like him, but you're nothing like him. I even said that. Oh. Well, I don't sing, so I guess it's fair. He's a nice person. I'm a nice He's person. He's a decent person. I'm a no, you're not. I'm a noble. I'm a nice and decent you know, person. Like about that, by the way, it's 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 the complete confidence of a 21 year old who definitely knows. I know. I know. Yeah. It's it's perfect. Right? <laughs> yeah. Look, you're, after you're sure that that one is a nice person and he's an asshole. Yeah. 15 minutes for both. <laughs> well, that's what she thinks. Look, okay? if you would have if you would have money, I'm gonna be a nice person. You have I a had money. If you have money or stages. Yeah, I stages. actually had money. Yeah, but the family no, name, no, no, something. No, no, There's money <laughs> and then there's... Murthog, please tell us about money. <laughs> right? What's what's money and then what's... what's Money. Well, it's well, not for me, I money. Had money. <laughs> money. Right. Please, money. Go ahead. Money. <laughs> well, I don't know. Murthog was... Actually, you know what? You know, for Mothark himself, yeah. I think there's uh, there's this unique opportunity to tell us about the first version of Mothark. First version of Mothark? You know, oh boy. The one that, that you two did play in that game longer. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. I answer the question? Mm, what question? Well, state the question. Uh, what's, what's the question? I, uh, the, I don't have a chat the feed. Twitch, the Twitch. <laughs> Why she has chosen music? What does she get from the music? Why not painting? Well... Music because the bard who inspired her was a musician and she discovered that she can do magic through music. She doesn't really know how much magic she can do. She only knows that she can help people or do small things that sparkly and pretty and stuff <laughs> like that. A reasonable quantity of magic. Yeah, yeah. not even reasonable, but like small magics. quantities. Like magic? That's how people abuse prestidigitation, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like 30 times in your face. Yep, exactly. Uh. <laughs> um, and out of character, why I, why I chose music? Because I like to sing. And that's gonna be helpful in the future. Mm, helpful how? What do you mean? Well, what do you aim to be helpful with? Well, if she sings. Yeah, I mean, I like to sing in real life, so it's gonna be helpful playing her. Oh, so like, training, for example? Yeah. Well, if she sings in real life, it's easier to sing in character. In character, that yeah. Too, that too. Like, it's, it's, I find it more easily, I can... Yeah, she it. will sing live. That's the other question. Yep, I will. But, I will, when I either win money from it, or I will sing to a person I will trust. And I have someone in mind right now. I, th I think that's a subvert way to ask people to donate on Patreon, right? <laughs> 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 I meant in character. And it's but gone. Whatever. It's yeah. gone. <laughs> I was trying to have a moment. Thank you for ruining it. I'm, I didn't ruin it. It was shameless advertising. And right. This is so. Um, <laughs> well, we are all excited to hear you sing. Yes. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I meant. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please, okay, please okay. chew. Yes, chew. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Better. <sighs> well, in this campaign, there's one particular person who was really careful with. Spoiler Gloria. alert. No, I'm okay. not gonna say who. I'm not gonna say who. Okay, good. And Gloria found comfort in that particular person. Actually, I think there's kind of two, but one's more feminine. Is it Zesh? <laughs> we all I'm know I'm not that. gonna say who it is. It's Zesh. It's Zesh, obviously. There's another one. Oh boy. Uh, 
You need me and your money. No. Oh, it's him. No, it's you. No, no, no. It's Melody. Ah, it's no. Mel no, 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 it's, 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 it's that Melody. I have an idea. We have you unique, will see. We have a unique it's the, opportunity. It's the fucking clockmaker. We have a unique yeah. opportunity for either Chad to start a poll or <laughs> for each one of you that really believes well, in a certain person, you can pick a tier on Patreon, tell us which character it means to you, and then subscribe. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and right. I was the asshole. They are turning my story in a sellout. Look, we just lost three viewers because of you. <laughs> At one point. At one point. Right. <laughs> just like Thanos fingers. Cool. Right. Um, well, Mula, thank you for not spoiling it, right? Since it might have such depth and implications. It's one of my favorite. Um. But, um, right, as I said, what does Murthog mean? Well, Who is be, Murthog? Be, How is Murthog? Before that, we have another question. Oh, yeah. okay, go ahead. Well, does the DM knows already every event that will happen? <laughs> or, or can you improvise? What is more enjoyable from the character's perspective? Um, if I may ask, who, uh... Kwame. Oh. Wow. Ma. Yeah? He okay. doesn't well, know. If what I may answer what I know. Shit we do. If I, if I may answer, I'm thank sorry. you. I'm it's sorry. okay. They're quite predictable. <laughs> oh. They I mean really. Look, next time we all kill each other. No, 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 no. no. We do. To we be do fair, so. um so as we said on the uh average chat last week, we try to build our worlds very reactively. So Building the world skeleton really doesn't take into account what players might do in a limited frame. So, the way we try to see everything is as it's happening live, right? Just like real life events would happen live. So, the consequences, some consequences we can prepare for, but I choose to prepare for levels of consequences. So, like, how bad or how good things could go, generally speaking. Sure, every sprinkle and slice of life from you people and from the characters themselves uh, improves, adds to that, and makes things more believable and nicer to imagine. But uh, no, uh, I, I really don't build everything beforehand. I thought it would be cheap. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> No, they will die in exactly half a year. <laughs> but yeah, and for the second part of the question, right, uh, so how do you guys react and how do you guys see this? Well, we don't really see it, to be honest. Yeah. If he does his job well, we don't see it. It's more ubiquitous. I mean, it kind of should be, right? Because your connection to your characters and your uh, immersion could be so easily broken well, it if, can be. if you really feel something that's that's if you incoming. if you do something cheaply yeah i think cheaply just overly emphasized overly described overly well yeah if you say that the door ha has a red symbol on the knob then yeah it's overly done i'm yeah i'm i'm, I'm sensing some context <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, uh, what's the context Please enlighten us. Oh, I think I, I think we were at the entrance of a mine. Yeah. Is this Vandover, motherfuckers? Huh? Is this Vandover, motherfuckers? No, oh, no, no. The, the 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 that was the trigger to a mimic. Yeah. Right. Completely contextless. I love it. Yeah. Well, it was when Murfag was first played. Oh. Yeah. There we it, go, it back was, to the context. Yeah, okay, so it, tell, tell us a bit about the original Murthog, maybe. Well, the original Murthog was an idiot. But I loved so every bit. So not far from so this one. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a charismatic idiot, okay? And the proper noble, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's a, what's a proper noble? I don't know. How inbred are you? <laughs> <laughs> My blood oh, is blue. How, how too blue? <laughs> You How can Alabama yourself. can I go? Come on. <laughs> I mean, you are an elf. You have, a, you have your pedigree, right? Of course, he's with me every time. I'm a fucking dog. 
So you're now pretty... switch out the words a bit, and we might have an interesting opportunity for you in the future. Of course, even with the taxes. And his mom is a bitch. I, I stated that before. No, but you said that you're a dog. And his mom is a bitch. I'm sorry. I tried to make a pun. I'm sorry. Okay, pun, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> And before joining a campaign, do the characters know the environment or they pick the characters before the environment is set? Um, yes or yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, to elaborate, but well, I did tell you people a bit about what's going on. Um, I did show you the overall map, which uh, the viewers will start seeing hopefully next week. As we're gonna try to showcase a, uh, you know, you're here. A map of where you are and where you've been through so far. Imagine that we're gonna rip off Indiana Jones heavily <laughs> and you're kind of there. But uh, yeah, so for this campaign specifically, the car the well, they, the players, did know a bit about the universe, right? The general world setting, world history, things that their characters would know uh, for each of them several details, right? For example, uh, Joanna, you knew a bit about the lower kingdoms, about the more... Um, you know, hillsides, open yeah. fields, and the quaint little uh, rural experience, and... Um, the fight, the story about the gods, and... Stuff. Right, lore that commoners would, and lore that traveling people would tell each other at campfires, and so on and so forth. Uh, similarly, I think uh, Murthog knew a lot about um, the political game, context about the ongoing civil war that's happening. Civil or uncivil, it's not clear as of now. But still, I, I think you were given quite a bit about the higher stakes at large well, within the universe. Well, right now, it's in interested in the power plays, mm -hmm. the polity game, everything like that. Uh, interested in proving him himself. For for me especially, it's interesting how much um, Murthog and, and, and Malady can have in common due to the backgrounds mm -hmm. and due to what they know and how, what they've experienced and where they're headed. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but they gonna... don't know it yet. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part, no. Uh, but uh, we're going to live to see. So yeah, each of them know bits and pieces of their world, mm, of their limited viewpoints. And I think that makes it a bit more uh, realistic, right? Because if you knew the whole setting... In and out, Battery. it's predictable. Mm -hmm. You could reasonably presume, due to several contexts or hints, a lot of events if you knew more. Plus, it's interesting how, like, in every single place we go, like, he knows you something about up. that place. <laughs> That's true, but he knows, like, something uh, about that place. Mm -hmm. Or if, uh, when they went to the temple, Zesh knew about the gods, and when we met the important person, he knew the important person. And every single person... I like that it's so important that you forgot the name. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I'm not good with names. I'm really sorry. Yeah. And every single one of them uh, knows a little bit about the world, but different bits that go so well together somehow. So hopefully we're all uh, doing our jobs of having fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, that's... We, we know bits and bubbles about the universe. Bubbles. Bits and bubbles. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we are retarded fish. <laughs> <laughs> we are completely fine. <laughs> I Promise. would like to <laughs> state that we are all <laughs> it okay worked. people. It worked. We have two new viewers. Really? <laughs> Uh, it's back to six. Thank you. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it's working. Right. Yes, like a charm. Uh, but, um, so we were talking a bit about the original Murthog, right? Yeah. And so, uh, what do you mean he was an idiot? Well, I did. A did, wizard I, and an idiot? I didn't know That's how to play. <laughs> Simple. Oh. It was he wasn't it, 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 well. It, it, it was incredible. Yeah. Well, he was his go on, catch. Go on. His ca his catchphrase were uh, "kill people, burn shit." So I guess it's a good uh, mage. Wizard. <laughs> Wizard. Yeah. Yeah. He was a necromancer then. Uh, uh, that that, that, oh no, that, that absolutely no necromancy. That uh, I I I choose only the necromancy spells because it's um, themed. Yeah, yeah, of course. yeah, completely. You know, when you play Pyromancer, completely. what the fuck is ice? 
Yeah. What and, is? And uh, like, oh, of course, about five da damaging <laughs> da uh, damaging spells per level of spells. Yeah. Uh, also, so uh, just damage spells. Level, uh, level, uh, higher level spells than his slot. Of course, that, that See, because level equals character level. Be Why do only spells go up because to nine? a level three character can cast a level three spell? And I, I, I. <laughs> Chat, street, look at me. Go on. No, no, no. It can't. I, go on, no, just come, come on, do it, do it, do it. I. I, I was mind blown when someone told is there just nine levels so characters can go only to ninth level? What's that? I mean back where you come from it's nine thousand. <laughs> and uh, I I was going left and right casting fireballs into packs of enemies and well, everything was good and <laughs> and my character was having a seizure trying to keep him alive. <laughs> and then the blight spell came up. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> So that he great. could not cast but cast. So, <laughs> so, so, well, it how was do you my... view Murthog now without all of the reality defying capabilities and um, world ending um, mindset? Well, <laughs> towards the end of that campaign, I started to figure out a bit about him and about the spells, about everything from the game. I'm from the game, I still didn't know how to play properly. <laughs> But uh, it made sense somehow. I uh, I started to use more useful spells. Uh, I, I didn't talk about the background for but him that's, uh, that's because that's yeah, because well, he so, has no. the tragic background. Oh God! Yeah, the demon that, killed that, 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 family. That, 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 you know, the most tragic background. The most tragic background. Now you two should have a fight about this, <laughs> right? Because I believe Murthog now is not that tragic, right? Murthog now is, uh, I think, just a bit selfish, maybe? Yeah, he's a bit selfish. But on, the, uh, on the careful to, to be, to scale, to be, to be, to be read a lot. <laughs> well, on the careful scale, mm, I think he's just proud. Proud of? Mm, no, proud he is proud. Proud everything. of himself. He oh. is proud. So egotistical. Question. Egotistical is pretty good. Another question, good. okay. Uh, Please, go ahead. And as a character, aren't you sometimes tempted to go and make your own story, as in go and be the DM of your own story? Well, that's wow. not playing with your friends then. Mm, yeah. No, I think, you know what? Uh, I want a bit of more context about this question. Well, mm. one character can go and, like, I'm alone now, and either will make a new character because he left the party and... I think we have a swimming example about us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was or, in chat earlier, so... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Or, or the DM can do a mini-story and a story. That's, which is... That can be volatile and yeah, can it's ruin everyone's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, possible, but weird. <laughs> right, well, unfortunately... Yeah, hello. <laughs> for, uh, for those uh, who want a separate spotlight, right? I, I hug their own solo adventure. D&D is not really a tool for that. Mm. Yeah, you're kind of getting killed easily solo. Yeah. And not only about scaling, because you could, if you're careful, right, be very safe with very little action on your part. Well, yeah. And, and trickle down very slowly. Get a reasonable day job and spend time improving well, yourself. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's retiring your character. It is. Uh, yeah. It is so close to actually not uh, context. contributing. Oh, as so in, as in leaving the party and go and start your own party with other friends. Huh? So like, leaving the table? Yeah, and become a DM. Oh, well, you... DMing mostly requires, I think, experience and a neutral mindset sometimes. Well, you yeah. have to have some expert, some expertise in Maybe everything. A, a, bit of, a bit of lens work, right? To see yeah. a bigger picture and then to be careful to not ruin engagement or fun for your people at the table because sure you're having your own fun and you're playing but it's also a responsibility for everyone else you want them to be engaged you want them yeah you have to, to have okay encounters you immerse want them. them yeah of yeah. course so you got to keep like six other people in mind rather when you're a player at first you only have to keep yourself in mind it's mostly natural to interact with the rest of the party and about the um, personal spotlight, you have that, even at even playing at the table. 
like every single one of them or oh, every single one of us uh, we have our spotlight at some point in well, the yeah but you have to it, work I, for it I, i'd see it more as the party gets a spotlight yeah. because, because you're in a group. you can also have your individual moment right yeah. because uh, as a part of a group your unique skill set or tool set yeah. or mindset can shine in certain situations maybe you're that's very fine. Yeah, maybe you're very skilled at something and exactly. you can do that's, that that's fine and i think we've had uh, examples of that during the campaign already mm. right so that can be mini spotlights and that's yeah. really cool but hugging a complete separate part of the campaign can be toxic for the whole rest of the table right you're having fun and you're having your own adventure where you're the main character but really like in you know lord of the rings harry potter any group ensemble story where you can pin down like a five-man group a six-man group or whatever a an actual party right they're the main character is uh is tricky to pin down and shouldn't yeah. be pinned down because everyone's got something to bring to the table yeah like the new murthog let's talk a bit about the new murthog the new and improved well, not retarded new, murthog yeah the new and improved the and not functional retarded. wizard murthog <laughs> the wi is he though is he well it's... i mean he cast two spells yeah so he's about two a wizard than... is never late yeah yeah go ahead still the new Morthog. The new Morthog is calculated is but proud. How is he doing? How is, he doing? <laughs> How is well right now I think he's pretty disturbed. By what? By, by a what? man by a man pointing towards him and the time froze. <laughs> You've done some shit. We I mean time only froze because we had to end the episode. Well right of there, course but uh But he's kinda disturbed now. Anyway <laughs> by one guy pointing a finger. Yeah. To, for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. Responsibility. So comical dissonance aside. Yeah. Um, uh, no, uh, right now, I think, as I said, he's uh, he's calculated but proud. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't nearly. He doesn't want to get into trouble, and he doesn't <laughs> want to <laughs> prove oh, something. Oh, 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 I I broke down. I, I, I know. I Sorry. But the fact that he has something to prove. Kinda gets in the way. <laughs> like that during the fight. Well, during the fight, or I. Rather before the fight. Before the fight, I was challenged to go and fight. I, if it I, wasn't I for. Think of it as mostly a strong worded invitation. Not yeah. really. Like no. go and fight. You should fight. Please go fight. You know. Zesh nudged him to it. And yeah. I was like. Well, that's all you guys. Yeah, exactly. Well, of course. Uh, okay, you're good at hitting old people. Now go and fight the someone and someone your size. And I've won. I know. You know what I feel right now? Mm. A pissing contest like this close. <laughs> this close. This close. Now, Chad, if you want us to have a pissing contest, vote for it after the break. <laughs> but uh, still, go on. Um, uh, that said, the fight he he w wouldn't have fought if the party didn't push him really yeah. so if it were just the public demanding him no they're just plebeians <laughs> you know so, but it's, so a really in a way. it's a very public setting and he could have been uh, embarrassed by his denial not, to plebeians. not really he didn't, these are not important people but these people can actually Aww. do something oh. for him we're important <laughs> with him <laughs> yeah with him okay i see the egomaniacal street right there well it's an egomaniacal street come on it's a, it's a whole photo field <laughs> uh, and i you know i'm really curious if this party can help him be a real boy i think all three of the the boys in the party can can benefit from becoming real boys <laughs> <laughs> no offense, no offense, but uh, y'all have the Pinocchio syndrome <laughs> real bad. Yeah, sad Victor, lizard, haha. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, Victor sends us a uh, sad lizard, haha. Aww. Haha. Haha. Now go and work. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh dear. But uh, right. So, barring the Pinocchio syndrome, right? Barring I the think, Pinocchio uh, syndrome, I think, um, uh, Murthog he... is uh, uh, is part of the let, let's say almost half of the party, because three fifths of the party who have a more exactly defined goal, right? Well, you have yeah, a place to get to. Yeah, Murthog has a mission exactly. and has a purpose, 
and the, he's the trying parties helping with that or well right now not really <laughs> but i hope that in the next day when the time will be unfrozen yeah and uh, let's hope that nobody receives any reasonable amount of pain tonight or that night i feel targeted I feel, uh, feel uh, it's all it's all fine. You know what? Screw go, Victor. <laughs> With your job. <laughs> he, said, he said, "You know what? Screw work." <laughs> Wait, he's coming? Yeah, I don't think so. I, I, uh, don't, I don't think so. If you're coming here, we have a spot right here. Yeah. Oh dear. You, know, you should really tell us right and now. And we're gonna bring uh, you yeah. one. Because because I should set up the final mic if you're coming, my guy. <laughs> well, anyhow. Yeah. Uh. Keep an eye out, just keep an eye out, yeah. please. And, I mean, I don't really want to push that, agon uh, that egomaniacal thing too much. I think, uh, well, I think that's part of, uh, of his earlier engagements, right? Of, of oh, yeah. who he was before all of this. Well, and he wanted what? to buy a loot for the bard. He did? Yeah, I, oh. I asked for it, I looked around for it. He didn't yeah, find one, and uh, the minimum amount of work towards having a feeling, it's done, so you can pass that. Mm. <laughs> He's a shell of a person, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's interesting, right? Because, um, uh, tossed in a new environment, I'm, I'm getting the, the distinct feeling that Murthog is, um, is kind of falling back on his kind of basest persona, right? Well, he's defensive. We Exactly. Uh, that's what I want to get to, right? Because um, I feel like even though with, with the, the party's interactions and uh, in the context right now, you're trying not to be defensive towards them, them right? right? Not really. I, I am defensive towards them. Even with them? Yeah. Well, I knew them for about a day. Yeah, but not as defensive as you are with your actions. I mean, with your behavior, it's well, different a bit, and, and I think that the, the people can feel it, and it's interesting. Right, the slight well, dissonance between your actions and your your uh, of let's course, say phrasing. Yeah. Of course, but he also thinks that maybe having some friends slash guards uh, no. helps in the quest mm -hmm. and not go alone towards a new continent. Well, that too. Yeah, he's most probably looking for friends and looking for someone to help in his uh, problem. Yeah. Murtak ha doesn't have any friends. Oh. He has two friends. No, he has two friends. But they're far away, so do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Count? Yeah, they're but, but, the but they're far away. The Xyra. Uh, also, Xyra proves uh, is such a moral boost for him. Well, Xyra. How is that? The the silver dragon. Yeah, yeah but um, why? Well, yeah. it's like uh, when you're alone with your dog. When you're mm -hmm. alone with your only pet. So your only friend. Right. And that's where Xyra comes in and tries to help. And I'm trying to, let's say, not show a weakness towards her. But, but it's a weakness towards her. Um, is it more really like a bias? bias? Well, it's a bias. I mean, I he would... it's a weakness to... He realizes that it's a familiar, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want to believe it's a familiar. Why not? Well, the fact that he created it. Mm, well, not really. Uh, familiars are well, summoned. Well, summoned it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he can change his uh, its shape. It's not Where like. Where are you a... going with this? Yeah, uh, it's right, not. Right? This oh, like a dear. This I don't dear. know. Like you sensed a... it. You sensed it. Thank oh, you. Thank a you. familiar. I was the only one. Come on, oh, a, a familiar. Yeah, yeah, by, yeah the, no. by the definition of a spell, mm. you can change the look or shape of the familiar towards other animals. Mm, yeah, but once you've done a contract with uh, with a particular familiar, mm. it's kind of set in stone if that certain familiar doesn't really. doesn't have shape shifting. Not really. It's you just an illusion. you can it's cast. Well, yeah, but it's true shape of that familiar, right? Of Syrah. She's still a pseudo dragon. Yeah, but if you cast the spell again and you decide that I want a cat now. Yup, it's gonna be a different animal. Yep. Yeah. Spectre Kodruts is back. Hmm? Spectre Kodruts is back. What are you talking about? You know, like yelling and Double hearing song. in all the. Really? Yeah. Those are not beer bottles. <laughs> we promise. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'll do whatever you want. So, Hi. better now? And he's gonna get... Right. Okay. Uh, I hope this is a bit better. Yeah. But, then again, we need to remind you this is a small, confined space. Better and we're loud. Anyhow. <laughs> so... So, he's... He's, is he in denial about it maybe yeah he's kind of in denial about Sarah being a let's say fake pet well find a fake I don't know maybe that's my viewpoint well in the view of a mage that summoned it and not find it living around and tamed it or have it as a pet it's kind of cheap on the purpose hmm. and uh, he will not change Sarah in other shapes he will deny the fact that Saira is a summoned familiar and he will try to see her as like an animal, a companion. And again, how, how aware do you think Marthog is of the fact that Saira, you know, is a living creature, not just a spirit, not just something manifested. She was and is from the Feywild, right? And well, it... she has a completely separate existence there and is her own sentient being how how in touch with that is Marthog well he knows that she's sentient and that she comes that should have a bit heavy implications well it has but he, he wouldn't change her hmm. he wouldn't change the familiar it's good now what about the party would he change them <laughs> well this is debatable but the familiar no <laughs> right and uh that brings me to uh, to another question about Marthog how did he react um, the Swifties change in um, in demeanor? Did he feel it? Did he perceive well, it? He doesn't really perceive the change because he didn't see him donating. And that's I mean, to the be fair, episode. to be fair, you were very careful with yeah. how you employed Swifties' uh, newfound uh, lawfulness. Fringe yeah, lawfulness, it's... very fringe lawfulness. It's not lawfulness. Well, again, that's in the second episode. Yeah. But Still. I mean, the the uh, turning point for that was uh, near the end of the first episode, and that's what I mean. Also, I was surprised at Merthog's uh, sportsmanship after the fight. I would not well, have expected that. Why? He is a noble. He is fair. He is uh, egocentric, of course, but he has honor. <laughs> and um, how much? I mean, and that about that honor, you know. How how well does it relate to uh, what Marthog thinks she, he should be doing versus what he needs to do in a certain moment? Right, well, moments right of now, crisis, moments of uh, well, turmoil. Right now, right now they, those things aren't conflicting. Hmm. Right now, but... When are we gonna see? Hmm. Fair point. And on the topic of, uh, you know, what you should be doing, Versus what you need to do right now. Yeah, you're in deep shit, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in deep shit? Do do. You know, because you associate with them. I mean, <laughs> it's understandable. The thing is that I don't want my character to be like overtly evil or seem overtly evil because I, mean, I don't so think far, that's really, the... really, it's been unnoticeable. Uh, exactly. Uh, I mean, as I... to her in alignment or outwardly actions, it's been well, really unnoticeable. Well, they're saying that I'm super shady. So, and I didn't pick I up have... on that, by the way. <laughs> I never did. Well, you do have a well, mute friend. You, so, you do well, believe in friend. everyone. So, so well, why is that so shady? I don't know, you, 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 you are the only person that comes down from the boat with companions. And why is and, that and shady? Then, and then so, it's so shady to have friends, <laughs> so, okay? It's so, so shady so the, to have the friends. The only reason that, that they think you're shady is just because you're somewhat adjusted. And, and you know, the fact, <laughs> like the, the fact that your mini you has a knife with <laughs> knives. To protect himself. Uh, I mean, you cudgel? all have weapons. Well, a cudgel with like spikes and shit. Yeah, a spiked cudgel. Yeah. Right. Uh, That's oh, not... right. You're a noble. You've never seen those. Uh, <laughs> of course. Those woods. Barbarian with... thing. Yeah. I mean, like, it's shady because you come with your companions off the ship, and uh... and don't immediately forget their existence and notice <laughs> the more interesting people. Am I no, right? Uh, and then just associate yourself with weird people having a discussion about fashion in the middle of the pier. Fashion. In all fairness, I did not associate with you. I was trying to pass, and then the other guys came in, and I was like, well, okay, I 
seems like right, we're stuck right, there. Right, 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 right. Nothing <laughs> about that is weird. <laughs> you know, at the drop this, of a right, hat. She's, uh, she's the new character on the Seinfeld reruns. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just in denial, come on. As no, are y'all people. No, but in all fairness, if you no. think about it, I think I was... No, except Gloria. And... Well, Zesh is debatable because he wants to eat a lot of things, people, and so on and so forth. But otherwise, I think I'm quite adjusted. I mean, I didn't start fires. I didn't, like, knock old people unconscious. I didn't try to steal from everyone that I meet. <laughs> I mean, so, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Well, talking about, okay, knocking people <laughs> unconscious. The people you're, like, you're like two for two, my guy. You, no, three for yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So, so in well, this moment, I you should be the shadiest easy. character. <laughs> okay, he was startled when, uh, when, uh, of course you were my, when, uh, what's his name, when, uh, bless you, <laughs> <laughs> appeared. Sesh. You know, Sesh appeared Wait, uh, in his back. Zesh. <laughs> bless you. When Zesh. Are we that kind of Twitch stream? Are we? No, that's no, we're not. Not. That's I know. <laughs> We are assholes. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, yep, God, yep. we are. We are, we are horrible Now, but people. you don't say anything, but heavily imply it. <laughs> There's two kinds of people. Those who know what to do when reacting to incomplete sentences. And uh, tell us a bit more about it, Melody. <laughs> Oof. Can I read this? Because I want to sure. be mean. Sure. I want to be mean to him. Be mean towards me. <laughs> Come on. Kwama so. said. If he's a noble, why is he traveling with people that are no that are beneath him? Or pop or probably he is beneath all the noble people, so he needs common folk to feel superior. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's a good point actually. I Weird like flex, you. but okay. Yeah. I like you. Well still uh, you who you was that, by the way. Come. Oh. Still that uh, <laughs> he's awesome. You know he's what awesome. I like about that question though? Hmm. What really oils me? That implies that you are all beneath me, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I am uh, beneath. Yeah, this, this, I am this. beneath all of you because I'm smallest. Wow, don't say that, dear. <laughs> no, don't, don't say that. Don't oh, say that. Okay. 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 You, you brought out the dearies. It's bad, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Really, really. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to keep eating. Okay, bye. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Please, uh, right. D deflect everything. <laughs> go, go, go. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I, I find everyone, like, very, very strange. To me, Zesh is totally alien. I don't understand anything he does. I don't understand why he's being nice to everyone. Gloria is, like, I'm completely petrified, and I... <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to dislike her because she... I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I okay, told you it's okay. going to be like this. But the fact is that... Well, my character has a lot of... Um, well, with, without trying to spoil too much of it, she has quite a lot of baggage, and so she isn't really a fan of new acquaintances, of new people. She's quite mistrusting, so... Let's call them uh, uh, pent-up misconceptions. <laughs> Yeah, basically, she has a lot of those. Um, I, I think the most adjusted... Well, to me, the most adjusted person was Murthog until he went, like, rogue, and now she's like, oh, he's a liability. And so Swifty how, is how the next... How did they went rogue? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Believe you me, I think I just realized that this is the moment she went tactical. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a threat, my guy. You're not, you're not crazy. You're a liability. <laughs> But I don't know when do I went rogue. Curiosity. Well, you knocked an elderly man unconscious, like in the middle of a square filled with people, drew a lot of attention to yourself. You then went on to like battle an orc, like a huge well, orc. Well, you that you have... you guys did push me to do it. And I you... did not. I said, "Are no, you, you really going you, to do you this?" No, you just rooted for the orc. Of course I did because you were an idiot. <laughs> I did not. I did not. <laughs> I did not hit her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Orky. <laughs> oh, hi, Ork. Oh. Well, still, that was kind of like what he would do. 
Oh, true, true, and that's not a problem. But but to her, it's like it's kind a problem. Of, exactly. So for me, out of character, no, no shit whatsoever. I don't care. You can do whatever. You can stab guards for all I care. But the the thing is that she doesn't really want to draw too much attention to herself. So the fact that you're kind of like all out there is like. Well, I'm sorry to like tell you this, but <laughs> you kind of appreciated the only guy with golden crests. <laughs> Symbol on the shoulders and noble clothing. Also, it, the it only was... person in Rick and Babe with a half cape. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not like really, man. And, I know. And that's uh, stealthy. Now I also And have I a somehow cape. succeed doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, somehow. Right. So, um, I think at this point, it's not really about friendship with the other characters, but she, she does need people around her. She does recognize that. You can't do everything on your own, and well, since they are drawing a lot of attention to themselves, she thinks that she can bypass some of that <laughs> attention. So maybe use them as uh, distractions. Yeah, distraction shield. <laughs> so basically, we have the same plan. <laughs> you know what's weird about it, though? You're the face of her plan, but she's nowhere in yours, buddy. Yeah, well, I'm away from my plan. <laughs> now you're leading the plan. Uh, the embassy is closed, so... <laughs> and also For another 12 to 13 hours. And until then, I can see some fisticuffs. And also, you and know first who person. might be able <laughs> to have some... Like, people who might help you at the embassy? Well, of course. That's why I, that's why I wanna go there. Wait, what Wait. do you mean by that? No, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. What do you mean by that? I have a ring. Yes, you do. That connects me, that might be mm. able to connect me to one really important person. Yeah, but not society. Elvan. Yeah. Not Elvan, though. Yep. You know what? I'll refrain from commenting on that whatsoever. Because <laughs> that might turn out to be important or self destructive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, so I said whatsoever. No See. comment. No comment. No, yeah. comment. no comment. I, 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 to be fair, after what happened recently, we're not going to talk about it. You are all the perfect distraction. Thank you. We all have. You're even yeah, distracted yeah. from yourself, uh, mate. You know. I, just, I mean, I, 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 just, I make, I, I do my profession well with them around. I it is just, profitable in the extreme. I just found an amazing combo. I'm oh, no. singing in the front. He's staying in the back. I'm getting money in the front. He's getting money in the back. That sounded so wrong on so many levels. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> Like that, really not. That's what we do, okay? When you guys play at my table Sunday, it's, okay? It's not uh, weirdly tainted. No, it's weirdly sexual. But I was not trying guys, to. Like, guys, I was guys, guys, just because guys, guys, you guys, guys. think of it guys. like that. Yeah, like, I, I just said something really. No, I didn't. Come it's on, the context. Guys. <laughs> Fellas, let's. Uh, Keep it, uh, you know, but about the me. sessions that we. Oh, oh my god! All right, we're gonna to take I a break. It. So, I yeah. Love it. Come on. So, uh, okay, hey, everyone, hey, everyone, everyone, jump, jump, jump. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. You do <laughs> the appearance of our little people breakfast eater, <laughs> right? <laughs> No, on stream with us, right? We're gonna take a small break, maybe add another mic, or maybe yeah. just scream our way through. <laughs> no, just add anything. another mic, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. You Probably can have mine and not gonna, gonna say anything anymore. <laughs> Apparently, everything I said has a weird side, so I'm not gonna say anything anymore. <laughs> you know what's weird, though? You know what's weird? We're derailing the side show, not the main show. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll be back with you in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And, of course. Um, until then, please leave all of your questions and... Oh, great. We've just generated some new content. <laughs> with you being here, right? And, uh, we're you know, gonna... and I'm the weird one. Yeah. I'm uh, the so weird one. After we finish up with... Uh, how Malady views her real life players at the table. No offense to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna have a, a round with Zesh as well. And a small a, talk. A small talk. A small talk. A small <laughs> talk with Zesh as well. And then, um, and then I'm, I'm curious after after uh, after the people on uh, on chat uh, have their round of fun with you. 
<laughs> well, it's interesting where cause... this conversation will end up, because uh, I'd really uh, be curious to hear your characters' opinions about each other in more detail, right? And uh, how how you think that will shape your interactions? Because sure, you went off into it, yes, but uh, other than you, no one said anything. About now, so well, that's kind of an interesting. Us three kind of uses the other one is it for himself, yeah, so it's like three what? three plans, so then it's three the same what? plan, you know, like it's but, the same plan. But uh, how the other characters make you feel, how you see them, how you consider their actions. I Not said, now, after the break. I said it in character. Well, you, it doesn't count. You, this is you. you can pause. Yeah, she did. It. She did say about more talk. I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon! We love you! Yeah. <laughs> oh. And we're back! Anyway, <laughs> 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 okay. five seconds in. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Victor, your mic should be live as well. Uh, let's hear from testing, the chat. Testing. Testing. Is that okay? Any feedback? Not yet. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Are they still waiting? watching? <laughs> uh, uh, are, we, are we okay? Yeah, there's still people hey here. guys, are you still watching us? Just don't, think, yeah. just, just, just don't, no. just please swallow, Danny. Y'all yeah. <laughs> 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 quaint and shit. <laughs> yeah. Victor, keep your, keep on speaking. Like, like this or like that? A little bit of this. <laughs> swallow the of goddamn mic, fam. <laughs> Be there, right. there. All right. It's fine. <laughs> At least someone cares about us. Don't push me. Oh, my lord. Okay. Now, it's easier going in than going out, or so I've heard. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, welcome back. And um, before the break, and before we were courteously invaded without uh, notice, thank you. <laughs> Not really. Did we really? We could have expected. We we could have if we would have, but we didn't, so we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good talk. Um, Get back. I think uh, Ade, you were talking. Uh, you were talking about uh, how uh, how uh, Malady's doing in this context, as they were trying to um, suggest gourmet solutions for your companions' well-being. Right. Yeah. So still, yeah, still good distractions point. indeed. But other than that, how? Uh, how is it facing an alien environment? Well, f I don't know exactly if it's very strange for her. It it's definitely strange to have this many people of different backgrounds and different behaviors because she's mostly lived secluded-ish, surrounded by familiar people, so to speak, which all behave, well, rather in a similar manner. So this is all quite foreign to her, but... Yeah, she doesn't really, how should I say, she doesn't really mind because she has a goal mm -hmm. she needs to look after, so everyone else is just stand, stand by. Expendable? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> at, at least she's honest. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm well, in, in all fairness, how would you react if you were like in a, in a group of completely unknown people, some of which tried to rob you, some of which are clearly out to like, I did not try you. to rob you. No, he not tried me, to rob me. I did see <laughs> I think I think the accent on that sentence is I did not try to rob you. <laughs> no he, but I did he didn't see rob the us, come on. He just appreciated fine Fair sewing. Enough. That was not what I saw. Uh, uh, <laughs> tailoring. Tailoring. Sawings, so, so man. So yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not judging. I mean, my character is like the least judgmental of the group, probably. So she doesn't really. I'm there. You know, it's, I'm I'm there. It's you, true, but you, you judge you, tieflings yeah, and men quite harshly. Tieflings. Not men, just tieflings. I mean, you were all. Eeeh. No, no not men. Noble man. No. Uh, no, I said I'm not I'm gonna marry. marry. Yeah, fair enough. Marry. Oh, of course she's I not gonna marry. Him. She's just gonna fuck him. <laughs> no, oh, well. She's course. not gonna marry, although she did state she was quite looking forward. <laughs> I know. No, I, it's not. That uh, was completely okay. out of character and just. Joking. Oh, well, uh, warn us next time. <laughs> How about it was, that? It was just out of character. Uh, no, anyhow, I said that's, I, that's, I the like top, that's the topics for Monday. Yep. Uh, yep. Well, 
Should I, I think you close the door now. Yeah. 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 Thanks. And pull. All right. We're good. So the servants aside. <laughs> the servant. <clears throat> That's all right. He don't watch us. Yeah. A. Right. <laughs> shoo, shoo, shoo. You fellow educated. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, I was gonna get to that by the way. Um, especially uh, the back and forth between uh, between Malady and Marthog. I think that's an interesting counterpoint to how erratic the rest of the party's behaving, and how um, how lackadaisical they seem in their approach of uh, socializing and uh, integrating. How about that? Well, we somehow get along. Yeah. Well, we're <laughs> both assholes, so <laughs> we stay together. <laughs> Oh, so, so it's it's just the anal commingling <laughs> <laughs> somehow i mean we do have some common grounds it's true we're both elves and he apparently mistook me for a noble person which well i mean in other circumstances no i might have been <laughs> i'm I, I mistook you for a person that's a bit of i mistook you for a person <laughs> yeah a bit, Ooh, who's a bit above, there. you know, the normal part of town? Why, thank you. You're welcome, any anytime. Indeed, why thank him? <laughs> right. Still, um, maybe you have some noble blood, I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll you get have to have a pedigree with you. I don't, I don't. <laughs> you just, you know, forge one. It's, it's, just, uh, it's just wood. Carved into it into a, with a knife It says, I'm noble. Uh, <laughs> I have... The color of blood. <laughs> I may have blood diseases. Hello. Aww. Yeah. It's leukemia. Yeah, that's endearing, isn't it? No, it was a sad aw. It wasn't a... Uh, anyway. Uh, I do think that Murtog w will be quite useful to her. I mean, she did see that he is quite proficient in magic use. And, well, she also dabbles in magic. So she could learn a thing or two from him. That too. See, the only good part of winning a fight <laughs> is, is, is get ladies' attention. Is it winning it's, a fight. <laughs> it's, it's proving something. Well, you that know, you can be exploited. In, uh, in classical <laughs> storytelling, a fight is never a fight. A fight is a dance. A fight is a conversation. <laughs> a fight is an argument. A contundent yeah, argument. A contundent <laughs> argument. But, uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, that did further a, a, a point in. in uh, in everyone's opinion about Marathon, maybe. Sincerely, I'm amazed it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a it was a long shot. Yeah. Mm, I mean, you were uh, your spell worked by about what four or five HP points. It worked. It did work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I believe if it wouldn't have been for your uh, previous spell, it wouldn't have. Well, my my previous spell. Did Not the one that failed. Well, no. The the previous spell was Zyra. Exactly. And that Zyra did her magic. Yep, exactly. And that helped a lot. But uh, sure, Murthog is a, is a point of contempt and a, a point of conversation, right? Because there's common ground and there's similar mindset. <laughs> gnomes are tasty. <laughs> but on the other side of town, yeah, gnomes are tasty. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Please, please don't murder <laughs> butcher us all! <laughs> No, he'll no. just butcher mute. <laughs> he'll just eat him. No. Yeah. I, I just eat what's, what's tasty. Okay? <laughs> right, so, so you mean to say we're not tasty? You said I'm fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you fresh have uh, you know, a <laughs> salad <laughs> seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so take the shiny person, turn them upside down, and start squeezing. <laughs> yeah. So, so much fresher. Oh. Right, but about that, right? Uh, so I, I think that's the polar opposite mindset. Because yeah, sure, Gloria, maybe you consider, you know, an experience. Maybe you consider a liability due to her attracting attention, and all that. Maybe Swifty could get in over his head, but but in the party. No, actually, I I think the the best of Swifty because he's he does get around quite easily, and well. I did notice well, him yeah. trying to steal of... things, so his moral <laughs> standing is questionable. I but think that's all okay. of so our moral okay. st standings <laughs> are questionable, that's come true, on. That's true, that's <laughs> true. Uh, legendary heroes. <laughs> In it. Yeah. Speak for a cat, bro. <laughs> Your moral and understanding is eating what's uh, shorter than one and a half meters. Hey. It's part of his morals, man. And after a talk, apparently I'm the, the one who's 
the more the, the moralist. <laughs> moralist. <laughs> no, I think Zesh is the moralist of the group. But he, he wants to eat your friend. Ah, that's true. Well, still, I th I think he. he uh, he, yet <laughs> he's such moral. a reasonable man yeah. come on he's moral because he didn't have the chance to talk he's been talking quite a fair amount you've just yeah. been ignoring well, him completely well, now man i mean uh, you stated your opinion about what we're doing but you didn't start something so that we see how depraved are you <laughs> if uh if i'm sorry are we not going to address the fact that he has a whistle that ha sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people are are we not going to address that fact <laughs> yeah 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 let's talk let's, <laughs> when we address that, that that thing monday right i am yeah. quite intrigued but the fact that he worships like divine beings and all that doesn't stand very well with me so oh no slam <laughs> You will be guided to the way. <laughs> the, the lamb of dog. <laughs> right. I am not blind. I am not blind. I'm not the blind person that he's talking about. But also, please do not take the blind person away because I might meet that person. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> Y'all an invalid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, challenged people. But then again, why don't we hear a bit about how you see all of them? <laughs> because uh, oh. I, 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 I think that out of the bunch, you're the only one that so far hasn't gone off some rails. Right? Oh. You stated some controversial opinions, like, <laughs> sure, people are tasty. Yeah, but um, you haven't acted on that, and that's, uh, I think, surprising for them. Uh... His philosophy, you talk, you do, you do, you, you, do you yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Phone. 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 phone, he wants his phone. I want to see the chat. The chat is not saying anything, oh. really. Yeah. Oh, that's great. However, uh, I'm looking so at it. Sad. His basic <laughs> way of thinking, and uh, he is derived from the lizard folk uh, way of thinking, and um. The simpler and uh, easier filter that he has is if something is useful or not. Mm -hmm. Like for example, with uh, Gloria's uh, special coin, if uh, well, he not understood, he does not understand why she has this coin, why she has this. The only thing that uh, he arrived at the conclusion that she has bad memory. <laughs> Really bad memory, and that's why she needs uh, it just a bad memory. Event. Just yes. forgets yes. shit. No, yes, no, no. exactly. And she needs a coin <laughs> to, to to remember. I, I said that. I said that to him that I I have this coin to remember, not ever to trust this kind of people again. Yeah, so it's a logical conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's his logical conclusion. He, he just took it as I said it. Exactly. Yeah, this is uh, it's interpretation. It's not my. Yeah, answer, it, it's amazing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is the first and most, uh, most important filter in his mind. And uh, this way, uh, he sees uh, Gloria as um, a um, explosive liability, let's call it like that. <laughs> that may. Uh, Such a friendly opinion. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know he has. Uh, at the they love me or love them. <laughs> At the moment, he has uh, bad opinions about everybody, uh, but Swifty. Everybody <laughs> but Swifty. Yeah. Swifty is so the only one. We are we slowly <laughs> reaching the conclusion that you're the only one okay around here. <laughs> you're the only one we kind of trust somewhat. And it's yeah. amazing Why that I actually... Because he didn't saw Swifty stealing. That's why. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Why. <laughs> because Swifty why? is useful. Huh. Swifty uh, brought him where he needed mm -hmm. uh, the, at the um, uh, temple, at the temple right. because he needed to arrive at the temple and uh, he it was a fair deal it was nothing extraordinary mm -hmm. yeah, he, it was useful huh. it was useful and yeah that's why he had a reasonable time. perspective <laughs> so I think one of the first ones we've uh, heard tonight <laughs> and uh, yeah regarding um, more talk it's something 
I can say special. I think I think uh, the fact that he's sitting on, in the middle uh, right now is so is so telling that he's got polar opposite opinions about <laughs> y'all, <laughs> right? Because right. I think this also extends to the both of you. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with Murtag, I mean, it's he has a really 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 bad opinion of him, and oh he knows that uh, he needs to like if he is going to to stay out of time with him, uh, and Sash knows that he needs to do a lot of parenting work. So oh, <laughs> with him. and he's the youngest of the group. Let's yeah. not forget this. Is he? 16 years. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Because <laughs> lizard for Adrian, right. Daddy lizard, daddy lizard. <laughs> lizard daddy. <laughs> lizard daddy. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I find completely ludicrous that, like, physically, that he's the youngest, right? Yeah. But mentally, <laughs> he's I the th- wisest. <laughs> I mean, that's only telling that being a lizard folk, he's been through some shit. Did you uh, put uh, literally a on <laughs> mono or stereo? Yeah. Oh, fuck me. No. Oh, yeah, hold oh, on. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it me or is Victor's sound leaning a lot to the left? Please don't mm-hmm. crash. <laughs> Please do not crash. Give me a minute. Uh, all of our four viewers. Yes. Well, <laughs> we tend to care about our audience sometimes. This one. There you go. Should be fine now. Testing, testing. How it is now? Should be fine. So the monitors are showing up all right. Right. Okay. Go on. And yeah, that's. Uh, that's his opinion of Morton right now. He needs a lot of guidance. A lot of guidance, like a, a lot of guidance. Like shitloads of kind. Yeah, yeah, shitload. <laughs> you need an orphanage, man. <laughs> well, to be honest, I was the failure of the family, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it's... Well... As we said, Murthog's not AG, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, regarding Melody... Um... Here we go. Here we go. (laughs) Brace yourself. Wants to purge. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 no. (laughs) If the emperor's name purge, he (laughs) unclean. That she pledged the uh, allegiance. No, don't, no, don't. Or to (laughs) or anything or demon or it's a word. Well, anyway, everyone thinks I'm evil, so. No, we, no, we don't. We think you're special. You said I'm We very think you're shady. Shady, yeah, shady well, does shady. not mean evil. Shady? Well, he's shady. Okay. Come Fair on. Nothing got a bunch of a kitty diddlers for fuck's sake. You're just the opposite <laughs> of me. It's not evil. I'm not good. I'm just chaotic. Like, the, 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 on the <laughs> She's opposite. just 21. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, really? And 15 at the same time. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yal. I was the small child, the spoiled child of the family, so what do you expect now? Hey, now we are two. <laughs> hey. We have two. <laughs> hey. Right. Uh, yeah, and um, regarding Melody, it's kind of... She does not understand yet why she's so confused. <laughs> does does, uh, does he view her as confused? <laughs> I mean... I, mm, I did say that I'm confused when he acts nice and all of that because I am. I well, generally it, it was for you this uh, discrepancy, uh, but then again, the utilitarian mindset, right? That Zesh yeah. heavily embodies. At this moment, she has been up to this moment useless, pretty much. <laughs> useless. No, no, this was he said. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, no well, I didn't do anything. Up to this point, in just two sessions, we didn't saw any type of action. Yeah, it has been a slow burn. Uh, did you people being, I don't know. So. Goal oriented? Opinions will shape. But not combat oriented. Yes, yeah, I right. killed people. Yeah, you did. You did. Me too. <laughs> not the party though, not the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you they did said not deserve people. it. Yeah. They said people. Of course, not yeah. the party. <laughs> What? No, I killed you. Yeah, uh, no, you, you yeah, did. He actually, I, you I inspired me. After you. After the slap. After yes. the slap. You oh, I thank you. I that, inspired that, you. That, that, Wasn't that, that good enough? 
so what anyway, was it about your table being oddly um sexual um, oriented again yeah. it's your fault no it's not my fault you people made me this way <laughs> what i am uh, sorry but uh, and... what what I want to about say. this is about my sunday game when i dm my table is oddly <laughs> sexual <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm loving how the two of them like can barely contain <laughs> The well, we're there, of the situation. So I'm playing an ex whore right now. Oh my god. What do you expect of me? And she's her sister. <laughs> what do you expect of us? Can like, you really Alabama at the fuck down here? <laughs> and they say it's my fault. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> it's always your fault. Anyway, right. And no, in, in the end, <laughs> after the church episode, hmm. pretty much. Things that has to guide this party into a better way of understanding things, maybe settling things. Yes, mm. instead of being well, I did chaotic. say before. I, I did say before you arrived that y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I did not say that Jesus is a raptor, but here we go. <laughs> hey. Right, but um. Sure, that's uh, that's an opinion about their behavior, but what about what about? I mean, this goes for everyone, right? What about the decisions that you did notice, right? Because um, there have been a couple of moments, there were a couple of moments, especially during the first episode, where um, there were, let's say, spikes in personal intensity, right? For example, uh, even at the harbor. You people almost got into a scuffle. Well, someone did try to rob us. No, I mean, uh, not well, amongst yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Not amongst yourselves. That. And uh, I'm, I'm curious how, how you all uh, considered that situation. Reacted to those um, well, incentives. First of all, I never thought the guy would react that way. Like the guy who caught me like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think any one of us. <laughs> that, no, no, no. I meant at the harbor. I meant hey, at the harbor. Hot blooded people. Okay, it's mm. <laughs> they're strange. Like, they're strange. Um... <laughs> Zesh is strange. <laughs> no, you. The rest of you are strange. You are strange. <laughs> yes, we are the aliens here. <laughs> He's sixteen and not pregnant. And... Wait, you are strange. <laughs> <laughs> and I never expected um, the them to react that way. Like Swifty telling him that he should not do that. And mm, for example, mm, should not do what? Uh, like, don't find my words. Man, to handle that. Exactly, to handle me like that. I never expected them to like um, say something about that because, like, we just met and we were nobodies and stuff like that. Like, I thought the guy would just leave and none of them would interact with him mm, why is that is it due to i mean there's not a lot in her prior experience that would have suggested that she would think people so callous well or selfish she would never expect someone to have her back someone else than her family mm, why is that though because even though she traveled she traveled alone she never had someone who had her back but then again there was no one directly opposed to her there was no intense hardship that she had to no but she never trusted someone like really in, in that way like there was two guy two, two people in her then again, life. Em em emotional trust versus you know utilitarian belief of trust that's very different than uh... she did not expect like a noble someone or a guy like he just met that to interfere with her business well you did jump in the noble's face <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you seemed interested that that's the only reason well see the noble is a noble <laughs> <laughs> right yeah but how well, how well is the result interesting? 
Oh, they're getting offended right now. Oh, boy. The thing is, I did not. We did saw promise you. them a pissing match, and no, we did. We did. The, the thing is, I did not yeah. saw you. I traveled with him. On the ship. Yeah, right. on the ship. We were yeah. together on the ship, and I and I uh, saw him as interesting or uh, um, something no. that I could write about. Oh, before something I've not met someone. you guys. Yeah, some something. <laughs> I see them as something. Oh. I am. I'm a human. <laughs> Hello, fellow. No, you are an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the moment I saw you, I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> okay, you to know. Be, to be fair, your your reaction to almost everything was wonder and and excitement. Yeah, because that that's her. Well, it's a new girl in a new world. Fair, fair. I'm I'm curious how this will gel with mistrust, right? Because. Sure, it is personal mistrust that she's displaying to certain people. Uh, not even teeth, just certain people. Uh, and and then overwhelmingly, the rest of the time, it's it's wonder to everything and everyone. Well, it's easy. We just all make like really friendly tiefling characters. <laughs> so I have uh, obnoxiously also, friendly. Also, she she never seen a lizard folk. I think no one. I don't think no one saw a laser folk. For her, from our party. Um, I heard knocking on the wall. <laughs> Knock her, back. For for Gloria, that was like wow. But, uh, when who sorry. does Gloria trust the most in the party right now? Swifty. <laughs> uh, no. What the fuck is a rogue, actually, right? A, uh, uh, <laughs> everyone trusts the guy who wants to steal. Yeah. I'm impressed, no. yeah, I'm impressed. No, the thing is, like, uh, actually, the first me, I, I just uh, talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. She's gonna sink either for money or for a person she trusts. If you remember what happened. Now we're gonna talk all about that Monday. Exactly. When we talk but about the second episode. If you remember, you already got the answer to my question. He wasn't here though. Yeah. No, he asked me if uh, oh. who she trusts the mm. most. The in person the party? she sung to in the second episode is the person she actually trusts the most. Right. Okay. So you got your answer. If you know, or if you want to know who that is, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to us on. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the episode and then start something. I don't know. I'm not good at this. Okay. I thought I was not shameless we're, advertising. We're not good no, at this. You've got we're stuff not to good learn. at this. I got stuff to learn. <laughs> right. Yeah. But uh, so yeah. You mentioned the the line of trust that you seem to want to have with with members of the party. Who do you absolutely not? Well, the thing is, I kind of talk to her like that. I I have three like levels of trust. I trust you, like I trust all of them, like being around them. I, in my mind, none of them would hurt me because she lent me her clothes. She got uh, he got my back with the old man. Um, he did a lot of stuff for me. He, I mean, he gave me money, Swifty. Uh, and you, at some point, I, I like the <laughs> shit eating grin. Just <laughs> ha, it's You've me, never... yeah, boy, <laughs> 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 asshole. <laughs> if Asmongold is watching, <laughs> you never hurt me. Ah, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He never hurt. Or, yeah, he was mean with words, but he never, like, really did something that she would not trust him. Like, that's the, the middle kind Should of we veer off into episode two just for a moment? Because I think we should. With the horse race. Yeah, yeah. but he did not it, it hurt is, It does not hurt her. That's fair. Yeah, but it's, um, you know chaotic level not, it's, well, it's not chaotic come on no, it's, it's not. not chaotic they almost they almost hurt her uh they hurt he... my feelings okay so i killed them there were people around who got, <coughs> got hit by them but like maybe 
the, the stuff they were selling got ruined and they have now like well that's you that's know? presumption you people never did check though i did i actually did with that perception roll well, yeah, she said, did. I, I did, but you said she I did. Yeah, she did, but she saw nothing. Yeah, so she did, but I she saw didn't saw. I, I saw people on the ground and stuff. No, people on the ground you never saw. Nope. You didn't see people get hurt. You saw people getting out of the way. You didn't see stuff getting smashed. You saw stuff okay. moved out of the way. Nope. That's that, that was me talking. Oh. Now, oh. for the people at home. Oh. I'm here with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my oh, perspective, come, oh, come they now. were so dumb and so barbaric. <laughs> so I had to do something to make them look bad. Well, the thing is, I, I did not hate them either because if I would, and I you would hit not yourself in the, in the process. <laughs> well, I didn't hit myself. Uh, but you burn yourself. He never well, the truth. <laughs> like that's the middle kind of trust. Hmm. And there is no trust. Like, if you do something... I'll the trust, I'll trust, you! <laughs> <laughs> I told you, there are three, three levels. Mm. Three levels. Mm. I trust you like, meh, you're, you're fine. <laughs> I don't trust you or I we are really trust not you. Fine. That, that's what I said. And we're all fine. At you're just moment. meh. For the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love how we build like reasonable characters. We try to... You know, make things that, while uh, they wouldn't jump together instantly, right? They would uh, maybe pose uh, interesting conundrums for people. And y'all just sociopaths to the max. <laughs> oh my god. Now, okay, the I good care. question no, is... You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, right? Well, you're okay. And it's been proven that you're okay, but... <laughs> Jesus, look around you, my guy! <laughs> I know! I tried my best to be like... It's, it's oh, a girl from a village show. seeing interesting just stuff. Or stuff for the first time in her life, she wouldn't be like, "Oh, eh, cool." Like, let's be honest. No, but I mean, for for someone growing around uh, people, a lot of people, yeah. and, and socializing with a lot of people due to your background and your story, you're very callous. Very. Because no one really hurt me. Like the most tragic thing that happened was a boy who left. And that destroyed you as a person. Exactly. That's what but I was gonna yeah. get. Yeah. Was right. it like? That well, it's kind real. Of... It's just interesting. That's what I'm posing. And it's just but a uh, thing to keep an eye on. Well, we could make um, him friend shaped. It would be very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I. I He's already got a like wide that. grin. It's okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just like get that. bigger eyes. Us got cheated on, like in real life, or. <sighs> Maybe dumped at some point. That thing doesn't scar you like that. Like that. Well, it depends how long ago it was because it yeah. didn't really have an impact and on you for like. Three years ago, like and really now. Three years is acceptable. Yeah. I think it's it's just acceptable. You it's know, it's it's not like. Shit, he went out. She went out tactical. <laughs> it's acceptable. Yes, it's acceptable, uh, acceptable casualties. That, that's how I see it. I don't want to make a really big thing out of it because it's not really a big thing. But then again, in now character, it's, it's a kind of Gloria's cornerstone. Yeah, because now, uh, because of the new encounter, yeah, it's even worse. Well, it's not got beaten. Please don't say it was for nothing. <laughs> It's not mistrust towards them. It's it's a fear now. She's not uh, like she does. Before that, she did not trust them, the tieflings. Mm -hmm. She did not want to seem like she's less than them. She wanted to be better or prove that she is better and better. stuff like that. Better. <laughs> Butter. And everything and everything. Butter. Butter. Yeah. <laughs> but after the new encounter, she's scared of them. She is not only mistrust. It's, it's them or him. Them. Tieflings in all, general. All tieflings look alike. <laughs> Y'all point here, fuck! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so basically, uh, can't believe I'm gonna say this. Stereotyping at its hardest. Yep. Racial. Yeah, what kind was of. It? Racial yeah, profiling. Kind of. I did post yep. a rule in the chat. 
You did? Yeah. Really? Everybody ignoring it. Yeah. Well, so I mean, if it's D and D racism, I don't think. It's, well, yeah, sure. It has to. Yeah, oh, it's fine. <laughs> you know, but, well, okay. well, you want to eat official. gnomes specifically, <laughs> okay? Right. No. Consider uh, as. Uh, you a hate great, tieflings. A great dish, a great dish okay? So a great dish? Yeah. <laughs> it's a small dish. Of course things are going to change. Dish. A Very small great dish. Very well, they have the potential to change, but yeah. right now... They will change once she actually realizes that the world is not like a playground with beautiful things around. But if I, she ever does. She will. I, I mean, I will. I really believe she will because at some point something is gonna happen and it's gonna change that completely. Like the first step was already made. And I think the second step would be seeing a murder. <laughs> Probably. Or someone Stay who tuned on the next yeah. episode. <laughs> <laughs> someone who would die and she won't be able to save. Till now she saved everyone she saw around her like getting hit or something like that. Yeah, but it hasn't been a long time. Hasn't been exactly. a long while. That's the thing. It it only the first step happened. I'm I'm sure it's gonna be something, an event that would just click, and she would realize that the world is not just a playground. There are serious stuff and more serious than a breakup. Well, let's hope that we get there, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Let's hope that we survive so much. <laughs> oh, come, come on, we, we, it's not we, one of us that die. We we will survive. We are so dysfunctional that enemies will just run, <laughs> <laughs> or they'll just ignore us. Yeah, I look, mean, look like, at them. Uh, they're I so can't, they, they can't be threatening if they're completely out of sync and pose no <laughs> cohesive unit oh, whatsoever. Well, of course. Oh, yeah. suck my unit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tactic, come on. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, deception, again, the greatest weapon of them all. A deception. Again, I, of course. I'm, and I, I think um, we can kind of say some final words about this, right? Um, I think I, for one, I'm really curious how you people will react to an actual uh, situation, right? If uh, and how you people will work together in a situation <coughs> where the stakes are a bit higher than, well, street level, then uh, no consequences for running away. Then you know, well, we need manageable. some steaks, some good old beef steaks. Yeah, hey, I want some, some steaks. steaks, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, you know the difference between maybe the party being brought in danger due to their actions and the adrenaline fueled personal intimacy caused by that i wonder how how that will dissipate into actually you people getting along or if uh, it ever will well you i don't know how we will get along in still beside almost dying <laughs> but we will see because, uh, for example, right, the the three of you, I see kind of as um, strange goal setters, right? Some of your goals are far misaligned, and I'm curious how you people will make it work if you try to make it work. Well, it depends what you think of misaligned. Different from the outset, far different, and heading into different directions, and I'm wondering how that will be managed. Well, depends who who convinces the rest of the party to follow. Who converts who? Yeah, who converts? Oh, we're going the there. We'll just we're going it. there. Yeah, it will be that, the That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for me, it's pretty easy. I don't have a goal. I mean, um, the the reason I'm I'm posing the question right is um well of course, right statistically speaking, you people will start getting along due to necessity, and. Maybe not get into each other's faces as much, <laughs> but uh, the that's campfire tales. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's because your characters, all of them, seem to be displaying, you know, strong personalities, right? No one ever really let go of uh, something they stated. You didn't make compromises until now, did you? We didn't really have to. We did. Yeah. We, we did. did. Uh, uh, when? A small race, yeah, it's okay. 
please. <laughs> right, so yeah. eating one gnome is like life changing. But uh But I mean, we did in the in the like vi- visiting the, all the places we need to go. We did take turns. I mean that's a start. It is a start, but it is a safe start. It is a controllable environment so far. Well, that's where we are. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I mean, I believe Swifty was the only one who actually needed to mold himself a bit to the group and I mean, and accept a certain path, but uh, it has proven so far to be very profitable, so it is very safe for Swifty to continue along that. Yeah. I'm curious I mean, when when, I mean, when uh, things the wouldn't be so comfortable. It wasn't as profitable as it seemed, but it was life-changing for Swifty. Not really. Yeah, it was. He is lawful now. Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, that's... N- yeah, fair enough, huh? Not in part... I mean, yep, it is a important. <laughs> it is important. <laughs> now that I think about it, yes, it is because of the party. Yes. What have you people done to Swifty? Life changed him. Yeah, he's exactly. a new man now. He's he's baptized by fire. Or you know, a deck of cards. A Thick paper. Cards. Fake paper. <laughs> magic paper. Paper. PayPal. Hey. PayPal. Yeah. PayPal. Speaking of magic. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't s- think you can mend that away. We are such sellouts. I, uh, I yeah. yeah. Oh, we're gonna be in just a moment, right? So, uh, by the way, how's the chat doing? Silent. Completely silent. Well, uh, well, there, they... there's two people beyond the uh, people we know. Oh, well, uh, hi, strangers. Hope you've been having a fun time listening in to us rambling. In the total of four people watching us. Just don't hurt me live. Okay. <laughs> well, to be honest, we did change the day of the show. We did. So yeah. uh, about that, yeah. I wanted before we end things off, met a comfortable moment, right? Because uh, we've kind of discussed everything that that of, of of high importance and of personal importance that happened during episode one. And to catch it up to speed, we're gonna do the same thing for episode two. There you go. Uh, Monday. Yeah. And uh, we can. Uh... I sure wish that people weren't screaming beyond the book wall. <laughs> fucking retards <laughs> yeah still we will oh they're still there oh hi guys yeah we will like our screamers <laughs> we, we will talk, talk about episode 2 Monday yeah. and yep. at 7pm the same thing and uh, we're gonna turn this into a series the average we roll where we're gonna talk about what happened last week but just in time to get you caught up for yeah, uh yeah, just for in Tuesday to, no, just in time, in time to get you caught up with uh the recent events yeah mm-hmm. and uh, the show from friday will change to thursday because of we don't want to get in uh, in the way yeah. let's call it that we want our own little uh, safe area where we can uh, grow and thrive and not be stomped on yeah, yeah. <laughs> because by are, statistics itself by statistics yeah. itself friday is real day so well uh, anyway anyway we... let's not get dmc right yeah and we yeah we are changing to thursday uh tuesday it's still the day for our main co-campaign and every day it's from 7 p.m bucharest time gmt plus two gmt plus means two. For, for, plus for two. those of you like three people it means gmt plus two we're gonna post right. about it some more of course uh check out the youtube and we're gonna post there the videos from everything it was a slow internet week and i don't know why but still. It was across the board. Yeah. We live in uh, Eastern Europe. It's potato power. <laughs> still, that's, potato why, power. that's why the last videos didn't come up on the YouTube. Yeah. yeah. But we are we are doing it. Yeah. It's up so. it's up uploading as we speak. <laughs> awesome. Finally. Right. So yeah. Catching us on YouTube. Uh, even like the highlights are gonna be coming in on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Right. And, uh, of course, uh, for, uh, Kwama feels alone. I'm, I'm, right. And because Kwama feels so alone, right? There's two methods to making our only Patreon feel better. One, you could join him <laughs> on our Patreon <laughs> and get, you know, uh, sneak peeks of what we're going to be doing. Uh, some homebrews, all the nice bonuses detailed if- there. Even you, you can even design a character, an NPC in the story. Yep. And with the uh, work and feedback from us and with us, yeah, yeah, you'll get to see him live on stream where hopefully more people will be watching. Yeah. And uh, barring that, of course, you could join our Discord server. Yeah. 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 On the non-premium tiers, but still, hey, it's uh, it's where we hang out most of the time when we're not live. When so. we are retard playing. 
Or, you know, just playing. <laughs> right. But uh, with that, I think we can end things off right here. And uh, thank you all for watching and joining us and interacting with us yet again on a new and very improvised format. Still, <laughs> uh, what happened today is we can... Um, we are affiliates of Twitch. Yes, about yeah. that. So with, uh, with your help, viewership, subscriptions and everything else, uh, we've, uh, I think during this stream, right, uh, been, uh, been notified that we can apply for being affiliates. And therefore, we're going to be able to do a lot more for you. And yeah, with like, you. Uh, chat, uh, ch chat emojis and uh, subscription <laughs> yes, and everything emojis, like that. Yes. So we're going to be hitting, I think, all of our platforms with news about that in the coming yeah. days. And uh, hopefully your continued support will uh, bolster us even more so that we can all have some fun together. Always. Uh, also, remember, what we talked about today is how the characters feel. How the characters react. Now, that We're disclaimer should be put on every video. Of course. Yeah. Everywhere we post about this and all of our other um, exploits. Yeah. We're, we're okay in real life. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we try to be nice people. Okay, we yeah. try to be nice. Yeah. Really? Well, but we, uh, we with don't help, eat we midgets try... in real life, so it's fine. Oh. It's kind I'm of difficult, living... man. I've tried. I'm the living <laughs> proof of that. <laughs> we do not... And with that, yeah. and eating midgets live. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yum. <laughs>